How's it going, everyone? Join me as I sail around the British Virgin Islands with some of the most influential sailors on planet Earth. I snorkel up a storm with my new friend Daryl and check items off my bucket list left, right, and center. This is the Odyssey Sailing Festival 2023, British Virgin Islands. I'm here in the British Virgin Islands. It's beautiful here. Flew in last night. Daryl and I made a long trek out from British Columbia, from Ladner. Uh, he came over from Victoria the night prior. We left on the 7th, flew to Dallas, spent the night there. Yesterday we flew from Dallas to Puerto Rico, and then Puerto Rico to Tortula in the BVIs. It's gonna be really, really windy here the next six days. I guess that's why it's a sailing destination. We're gonna have to combat that while diving in the water, snorkeling, but it's gorgeous here. Uh, really warm, meeting some really nice people. Can't wait to get on the water. Uh, Daryl, thanks for inviting me. Check out his channel, I Dream of Dingy. He's out of Vancouver Island, does some insane trips. Owns Precision Sales, really nice guy. He invited me here, I just had to pay for my airfare, so pretty lucky. I'm gonna find some coffee, because I am jet lagged and didn't sleep last night. I think I might be the only non-drinker on this trip. Everybody else was out super late. I went to bed at 10.35. Uh, Actually, I tossed and turned till about 2.30, but try to go to bed at 10.35. A lot of partiers on this trip, which is cool with me. I'll just be the designated dinghy captain. Tree of shame, I love it. There's some expensive mistakes right there. Yeah. This is the boat I was on last night. It's a fancy catamaran. Our boat's gonna be somewhere over there. That's really, really windy. Sailing should be good. Gonna learn a lot. Plan switching up a bit. We were gonna go on Captain Glenn's boat, but instead we're on Jamie's. He's a crew member on Early Reliable, big YouTube channel, which is pretty dope. Watching all the boats leave the marina was a surreal experience. Excitement was in the air. I had only found out about this festival three weeks prior to leaving after Daryl had invited me out of the blue. What a beautiful slice of paradise. I was drooling the entire time at all the potential dive spots. Look at that water. We didn't depart the marina until roughly 4 p.m. By the time we sailed to the anchorage and set up the mooring, the sun was in the later stages of setting. We were also a fair distance from any promising looking structure and the inflatable was being used to transport people to a floating bar. However, that didn't stop me. Seconds after arriving, I threw on my gear, jumped in the water and descended to about 15 meters or so into the warm and clear waters of the Caribbean. Diving without neoprene is such a nice feeling. The water temperature was in the high 20s, but back home, it wasn't even pushing 10. I love cold water diving, but I can't say I'm a fan of the seven millimeters of neoprene restricting the capacity of each breath I take. One could get used to this. Later that evening, we cruised to shore and got acquainted with each other over a delicious dinner at the Pirate Spite restaurant on Norman Island. Fun times. This is a rough one of these. Squall's moving through. Got a rainbow in the background. What's the new plan, Daryl? We're going to the next place. No idea what it's called, to be honest. But we're gonna go snorkeling all day, hopefully. We're en route. We changed the plans up a little bit. Uh, we were gonna dive some cave, but instead we're gonna head to the anchorage. And it's gonna be a bit more relaxed that way. We get all afternoon. Gives us uh, much time to get in the water, not just jump in and jump out. That was a common theme throughout the entire trip. When the winds are consistently howling 30 to 40 knots, it's hard to stick to an itinerary. Roll with the punches, or I guess I should say, roll with the waves. We made it work. We're at our destination. We just made it. I'm gonna be getting in the ocean ASAP. Swim along these rock lines here. Looks like there's a bit of swell crashing in, but pretty, uh, pretty timid, pretty manageable, I should say. Water visibility looks all right too. Yeah. 
With 12 people on board, the inflatable was a hot commodity. We wanted to take off and explore, but we couldn't leave the rest of the crew high and dry, so we jumped off the back of the boat and swam to a shallow reef close by. Unfortunately, it's pretty lifeless, just a bunch of dead curls and the odd little fish swimming by. Lucky for us, the anchorage was pretty rough, so we pulled out to another bay close by, which was marginally better. We found ourselves in a squall. Luckily, no lightning. Daryl spotted this guy camouflaged in perfectly with its surrounding environment. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe this is a species of scorpion fish, which are one of the most venomous fish in the ocean. Not gonna lie, seeing this guy had me shook for the remainder of the trip. We spotted some spiny lobster, but similar to Nova Scotia, Canada, there is no recreational fishery, only commercial. Lame. I was blown away by the size of this hermit crab. This conch shell was massive, the footage didn't do justice. If you watch my content, you probably know I don't eat meat or commercially caught seafood. All the protein I consume from the ocean is self-caught. Octopus are one of my favorite sea creatures, but in terms of sustainability, the common octopus is of least concern on its conservation status. I brought one back to the boat and share the catch with everybody on board. I left this guy behind. It's the next morning. It's a slow start to the day. Last night that was pretty fun. We just kind of went snorkeling and wrapped things up in the evening. I did anyway, so I uh, spent a lot of time just uploading footage onto my external hard drive. I don't want to lose a GoPro and, uh, and my phone. There goes all those memories. Last night I slept under the stairs. I wanted to do that my whole entire life. First time doing it. It was warm, but the wind would uh, blow around the bed sheets and make it a little bit challenging to sleep, but it was cool seeing the sun come up and uh, gazing at the stars when I was tossing and turning. Check that off the bucket list. Today, we're doing a regatta. We're actually uh, cruising around right now. We're in a race, and we're just over a third done. It's gonna be a short one, and then we're going to a different anchorage. I did some snorkeling in the morning, saw a sea turtle. Uh, kinda got a bit of footage, hopefully it works out. It's been really fun though, uh, with Daryl. Got an octopus yesterday, cooked that up. The chef on board did actually. She made it delicious, it was awesome. I'm gonna look for some more for that matter. It's paradise here, loving it. It's only day three, a lot of time to go. We're here, we're at the spot, and we're all excited. That's a pretty fun regatta. I think we won first place. I'm just kidding, I got no idea. It's cool though, went by quicker than expected. Uh, we're just uh, setting our mooring right now, gonna go crawl off the swim grid, and then we're gonna snorkel up a storm. I uh, might grab some sea cucumber, I see some. I wanna try them out here, what's the plan, man? I have no, I can't do it again. I have no <laughs> idea where we're going. All right. I'm super pumped though. We're going snorkeling. Like right off the boat. Yeah. I'm going to show Chris how to dive down and catch an octopus. Yeah. Let's see. Woo. Jamie was being spread pretty thin, shuttling people back and forth. So we had him drop us off in the water and we spent roughly three hours making our way back to the boat. We have big skate and torpedo rays off the coast of BC, but they're a rare sight. Besides a few spotted eagle rays I've seen in Bermuda, this was one of the first times I've seen a ray in the ocean. A common sight for many people across planet Earth, I'm sure, but not me. I was pretty stoked. By the way, spearfishing is straight up illegal in the BVIs, or I would have had a gunner pull with me. Thankfully, Daryl stayed true to his word, and he walked me through the process of hand harvesting this octopus. Two in a row, that's a record for me. I grabbed a few urchin as I was curious as to what they tasted like in the Caribbean compared to the Pacific Northwest. I might have grabbed a bad one, but I wasn't a fan. I threw the second back. Same deal with the sea cucumber. Compared to the giant Californias I'm familiar with, the tendon I was after was paper thin, and I wasn't about to spend hours preparing the husk in a small galley. This spot was far more interesting than the one we had visited the day prior, but it paid me to think of all the epic spots not far away that we couldn't reach due to the weather. Oh well. Another lobster. He'd be far too small anyways. And another nope fish. In a shallow sandy bottom too. Watch your step. I didn't mean to startle this guy. My bad Mr. Sea Turtle. No hard feelings I hope. You cooking up this octopus tonight? Uh, beautiful little creature. You did an amazing job yesterday. That was really, really good. Let's try again, though. Yeah. Never look here. You know, it's fresh wind. 
Yeah, that's that's they're pretty amazing creatures. It's all the nerves. Yeah, yeah. When I touch it, yeah, it start to change. Well, thank you, buddy. We all appreciate it. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> And that just makes the uh, tentacles curl up. That's cool. And then eventually you just throw the whole thing in, right? Yeah. See the curl. Oh yeah. I would never have done that. I don't know to do that. You cook octopus in the Mediterranean? Yeah, sure. They have a lot of it. Yeah. See uh, you soon. Yeah. <laughs> See you on the pan. Yeah, I do it. <laughs> Shout out to Juliana, who was the chef we had on board. She worked extremely hard on the cruise to keep our bellies full. Cooking for 12 people on a massive boat in a small kitchen is no easy task, but she killed it. She was also just fun to have around. Later that evening, there was a dress-up comedy night on three catamarans that were rafted up. Being the non-drinking, semi-introverted guy I am, I opted to just take it easy on the boat. It sounded like a really fun time though. Everyone had a blast. Well, it's the next day here in the BVIs. We're on our way to Peter's Island. We're gonna go to a protected anchorage and have a beach fire tonight, which is gonna be pretty cool. This morning, got a late start. It's one o'clock right now. I still managed to get in the water though and snorkeled around for a bit. I found a couple nice pockets of visibility, but overall the business was pretty bad. I swam under a dock and saw a massive tarpon and I couldn't see the hand in front of me, so I was a little nervous of sharks. Uh, so I, uh, I don't know, didn't spend too much time in the water. Uh, we're sailing now to our next spot. It's going to be a nice protected anchorage. And apparently it's quite sharky. Uh, so I might actually see a shark today. And I don't mind that so long as the visibility is good. It's on my bucket list. I've never drove with a shark. I haven't even seen a mud shark in the Pacific Northwest, which is pretty crazy. I used to catch them all the time. The spot we're going to, too, uh, Peter's Island, is right off... Dead Man's Chest, I think everybody knows that song. Yo ho ho and a bottle of rum. So it's one of those epic spots in the Caribbean. That's bucket this material right there. I'm just in my cabin, relaxing, uh, enjoying the scenery from time to time. And we're gonna get, uh, get to our anchorage pretty shortly. Okay, Chris is about to do something really dumb. Let's make sure we don't miss this. Just toast him, is this it? Oh yeah, there's a double right behind it. <laughs> Daryl meant to say, do something really fun. Seriously though, the footage doesn't do justice. You can probably tell by the expression on my face that I was enjoying myself. The weather wasn't ideal, but when life gives you waves, make splashes. Riding the bow of a catamaran? Check. Another item scratched off the bucket list. Made it to our destination. Carol and I, we jumped off the boat and took the dinghy to shore. We're at a cruise ship terminal, but there is no boats in port. Wind is up still, visibility kind of all tossed up due to the sand moving around. So we opted out of snorkeling for the evening. She's gonna have a relaxed day. I think there's still a beach fire later, but who knows? So we'll beach comb around for a bit here. See what's up. Yeah, that one, that's that's fun. Yeah, old air bubbles and stuff in there. That is cool. Old rum bottle and thinking. I was hoping to do mad beach combing in the BVIs, but most of the anchorages we went to had pampered beaches. I was pretty excited to find some black glass souvenirs that would date between the 17 and 1800s. Yo ho ho. Unfortunately, it was far too windy for a fire, so that night we rafted up with Colin McRae of Parlay Revival and had a feast. The lights off the swim grid were attracting some fish, so of course, I jumped in to take a peek. It was a really relaxing evening and a fun night. Day four was a wrap. We're on our way to another anchorage. Yesterday I didn't really film too much. We uh, spent our morning cruising out to Marina Key and we set anchor and explored a little bit. I did some diving. We went out as a group uh, to some spot we saw on the map. Apparently a good dive spot. The problem was it was extremely windy. In the shallower areas, we didn't see too much life. And we went a bit deeper, there was a lot of boat traffic, and due to the wind, we couldn't scan the horizon, so made it a bit sketchy. But it was still fun exploring around. We did see some little uh, rays and some cool coral. Later on in the evening, uh, we had an awesome dinner uh, with a big old group. And we also hung out at the Cruisers Academy Rafta, which is Brady and Blue. They had a question related to British Columbia, where was sailing Uma's boat registered? And I'm OBC, I got that one right, you want a shirt. Today we're just going to another beach, and 
gonna be exploring. Getting some rest and relaxation. We got the door. Go. Cool. That's Richard Branson's private island. Virgin Records. Richard Branson. It's a nice private island. We got to the spot a little later than planned, but we still caught the tail end of the beach activities they had scheduled for the afternoon. Beach party with a bar, music, games, and a hobby cat race captained by the crew of each boat. Part of me wishes I'd join this one. It looked like a blast, but at least I got some sweet footage. Looking at our last full day on this adventure, we just get to where are we? The baths. The baths. The baths. Virgin Gordon. Virgin Gordon. BBIs. Uh, we're gonna be heading out diving. Uh, Daryl and I. We signed up for a charter. It's 125 bucks. Might see my first shark. Pretty excited for that. Let's make it happen. The diving has been a lot closer just because all the wind. Offshore it was too rough. Inshore it was too stirred up. All the sand tossed everywhere. But this is gonna make up for it. And if it doesn't, at least it's my first scuba and I get that under my belt outside of training. What do you think, Daryl? I am so pumped. I have two, man. Oh my god. Yeah. We're gonna see a shark? We're gonna see a shark. That's good. Dude. It's gonna happen, man. I'm it's gonna so happen. I'm so excited. Woo! Yeah! <laughs> Thanks, Thomas Force, for hooking up the training. Uh, this adventure I'm about to go on would be possible without you guys. And uh, now this course, they also gave me a Cressy 2mm seat for this trip. It's been holding it down awesome. I uh, had a 3.5mm, it would have been way too warm. The 2 mils actually perfect, maybe even borderline too warm. I'm gonna wear it on the scuba dive though. I think the max depth is 60 feet. Thermal fine, a bit chillier down below. Uh, but it's gonna be perfect, I think. I think we have to get to one, meet on one boat to get picked up. Never, uh, yeah, nope. I got extremely lucky with this one. I was using this charter as a contingency if we failed to do some epic diving on our own. I tried to register the night before, but all the spots had filled up. Daryl saved the day by sending an email to the company. What, what did he say? So excited, they're sharks. Sharks, they're sharks, dude. <laughs> a spot had opened up the morning of, and I jumped on it, and I'm so happy I did. We cruised roughly 20 minutes away to a dive site called the Ginger Steps. About to get in the water, we just had our safety briefing. And I'm all geared up. We're gonna be group number two or novice divers. Apparently, it's a good spot. Let's see some sharks, man. I might be a novice scuba diver, but I have countless dives behind me on breath hold in all sorts of conditions. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't slightly nervous. The main reason being that I didn't want to slow anybody down. Luckily, I managed very well, and controlling my buoyancy was a breeze. Or should I say it was a current? Alright, enough with the lame dad puns, I promise. I'm just happy I didn't need a dry suit. The life is so much more colorful and flamboyant than you typically see in the PNW. Does that mean I prefer diving in the tropics? Not necessarily, but it does make it new, fresh and exciting. These guys were everywhere. They remind me of rockfish. This coral structure had me blown away. Truly amazing. And just like that, my very first shark encounter. I think this is a gray shark, but don't quote me on that. It was super graceful. I wasn't nervous in the slightest. Part of me wishes my first encounter was on breath hold and in local waters. But I suppose that will be equally exciting and I can't wait for that day to come too. Porcupine fish have to be some of the cutest marine creatures on planet earth. Right up there with sea otters and stubby squid. I think they're fairly common, but I haven't gotten tired of seeing them and probably never will. Delicious. I mean, I mean so majestic. Schools of fish in clear water, a hard sight to beat in mother nature. Thanks again, Daryl. You're the man. Hell yeah, we did our dive and saw some sharks and some porcupine pufferfish. I think I think that's what they call them here. And good visibility. 
I saw Daryl. <laughs> I saw Daryl diving. That was awesome. Uh, first scuba charter under the belt, and it wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. And I was pretty relaxed. I think I did good. I didn't piss off our instructor, so that's positive. Thanks, Daryl, for making me go with you. That's a lie. That was awesome. Thanks for pushing me, though. I appreciate it. <laughs> that was the best. That was, that was like we saw sharks. We saw everything. That, that was, was on so our list. Cool. Yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah. Made, made up for the last time. And that pretty much wraps up our time in the British Virgin Islands, or at least the content I captured. We definitely ended things on a high. Before I sign off, I just want to thank the organizers of the event, all the different captains and crew, plus Daryl for all his generosity. Believe it or not, we hadn't even met in person before we departed. On a personal note, I also want to thank all the influencers out there, not for pushing AG1 or Headspace ads, but for influencing people like myself to get out there and live life to the fullest. SV Delos was a catalyst for when my wife and I bought and lived on a boat for a year and were also a huge inspiration for me to start a YouTube channel of my own. Now I pay that passion forward and influence people on my side of the planet to jump into the ocean and live a more sustainable lifestyle. I wish I had more free time to follow everyone that was part of this trip as I'm sure their stories are equally inspirational. Shout out to all the channels out there, big and small, you got my love and respect. On the way home, we had a 20 hour layover in San Juan, Puerto Rico but I wish it was a 20 day one. The city is absolutely gorgeous. We did as much as we could during our short stay, but I definitely would like to come back. I managed to find some more souvenirs. What a trip. I can see the thing opening, it's totally messed. Is it? You what? Oh, the zoom? Yeah. Oh. It's like. Oh, yeah, trippy. <laughs>